going on everybody and welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to take a look at steven jackson weighing in on the espn layoffs as we all know the top talent people that have been laid off like Keyshawn johnson jeff van gundy jalen rose and many more and steven jackson exposed espn man i've been saying that espn is wicked some wicked stuff is going on behind closed doors with espn because steven jackson just exposed espn for not wanting to pay him nor rachel nichols when they were on the jump and it was one of the top performing shows and it's funny because he states the same exact thing that i've been saying in my past recent videos these people that got laid off of espn they need to start their own platform they have a supporter base that people will support them no matter what they do so go ahead and take a listen to this and if you don't mind to drop a like on this video that would be highly appreciated and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new take a listen well let's talk about this because you do have your own show you have all the smoke you have your own platform we just saw what happened at espn mm -hmm. you know with all of the layoffs and and were you super surprised when that happened or was that something that people in the industry knew was coming hey if you've been in the podcast space if you've seen the stuff we've been doing um gilbert arenas knuckleheads all these basketball <laughs> players and stuff like that you knew this was coming mm. um because we all worked at espn we, me and Matt, um, when Rachel Nichols first started the show, the jump with me and uh, Tracy McGrady, that's the, that, sh that show went through the roof, and uh, they didn't want to pay us. So as as they wasn't paying the players and the people that was making the shows, I, everybody started declining the deals. So they started giving jobs to people who just wanted to be on TV. Well, now everybody's in the podcast space. This show is more entertaining than anything on ESPN. This show. Mm -hmm. There's so many shows from our culture that are more entertaining than what they're talking about. Perfect example. When Stephen A. gets off his show, he goes straight to his podcast. Right. To say things that he couldn't say on ESPN. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. True. Right? Because this is what's hot right now. So they're fine people because nobody's watching. Especially not when basketball season's not going on. Right. Nobody's watching. So this is what it is. This is what everybody wants to see and hear. The real. <laughs> say one, one, one thing about me and Matt. One thing about me and Matt, the reason why we, we succeed, we don't hate on nobody. Right. It's, right. it's enough space for all of us to get this money. And I'm happy my brother's in this space. So two um, legends that's in the <laughs> sports uh, world. I, I love it because it's entertainment. It's something mm -hmm. new. Mm -hmm. Like when me and Matt did all the smoke, we was the first professional athletes with championships, with the experience that didn't mind smoking for everybody to see, right? So we did something smoking that was different. It's, right. it's enough space for all of us to get this money. And mm -hmm. like when me and Matt did all the smoke, we was the first professional athletes with championships, with the experience that I didn't mind smoking for everybody to see, right? So we did something smoking that was on different. Camera. I tell people all the time, like I was just talking to them in the back. When people ask me about podcasts or shows, bro, do it. Just do something that hasn't been done because it's enough for all of us out here. So yeah, man, I 100% agree with what Steven Jackson is saying. This is all facts, man. Nobody is tuning into ESPN no more. Like the stuff that ESPN doing, we don't appreciate that. And the people that you lay off, compared to the people that you still have like why you still got kendrick perkins why do you still have malika andrews these people are not nothing compared to these people like jeff van gundy jalen rose Keyshawn johnson max kellerman all these people are vets that have been working with you with the company for over a decade if anything starting our own podcast is an easy way in a new wave that people are tuning into so let me know in the comments do you guys agree with what steven jackson said or do you disagree and how do you feel about the whole espn situation get in the comments down below just wanted to make this quick video i love all you guys i'm out